As a total nerd for everything about cities, I thought it would be fun to compare American cities to European cities with a similar population, just to see the stark contrast or maybe even surprising similarities. I have curated what I believe to be the 10 most important aspects or criteria that makes a city great. So who will win, Boston or Barcelona? Here are the criteria we will be looking at to determine which city is quote unquote better. Density, GDP per capita, diversity, education, transit, crime, weather, architecture, food, and green space. So let the games begin. Density. You know, high density doesn't automatically equal good, but generally speaking, the higher the better. Although the Boston area is the fourth most densest region in the US, with over 5,300 people per square kilometer, Barcelona is three times as dense at a whopping 16,000 people per square kilometer. But people aren't packed in like sardines. Everything is expertly designed with a focus on superblocks, which is basically an area that is designed to serve local needs only with numerous public squares and widespread pedestrianization and comprehensive traffic calm. That's some good stuff. Advantage, Barcelona. At its most basic interpretation, GDP per capita shows how much economic production value can be attributed to each individual citizen. Spain isn't necessarily known for its high-powered economy, perhaps more known for its extended siestas, which I'm highly jealous of, by the way. Barna has a GDP per capita of just over 61,000 US dollars. Meanwhile, Boston is littered with Fortune 500 companies and high paying jobs, flaunting a very impressive 108,000 GDP per capita. Advantage, Boston. Which city is more diverse? Boston isn't the most diverse city in the United States, but it isn't totally homogenous. You have 50% white, almost a quarter percent African American, almost 10% Asian, and also almost 10% of two or more races. Meanwhile, Barcelona only has 17% non-Spanish native residents. Advantage, Boston. What population is more educated? It's going to be very difficult competing with Boston as it's one of the most well-educated cities in the world with multiple prestigious education institutions like Harvard and MIT. Over 50% of Bostonians at least have a bachelor's degree. Only 22% of Barcelonians have a secondary education. Advantage, Boston. When it comes to transit, we will be looking at the miles of fixed track within the metropolitan area. I love the T. It makes it so easy to move around Boston. You got five lines, 67 miles of track, and 153 stations is nothing to scoff at. The fourth most ridership out of any transit system in the country with over 80 million riders per year. But have you been to Barcelona? Barcelona's metro system comprises a network of 11 lines with over 100 miles of track and 189 stations. This very efficient and clean metro system has over 350 million riders every year. Wowza. Advantage, Barcelona. Every city has crime. Certainly the consensus is the higher the homicide rate, eh, you may want to avoid living there. Boston's homicide rate is really low for America at only eight murders per 100,000 people. But man, this is honestly disturbing reading this as an American, but Barcelona's homicide rate is less than one. Just to give some context, St. Louis's homicide rate is 66. Scary. Advantage, Barcelona. Okay, this is gonna be a controversial category, the climate. I know there are people out there that enjoy all the seasons, even an entire winter month below freezing for some reason, but warmer weather is gonna win this contest the majority of the time. Sorry, cold weather people. As I simply average the temperature of 12 months, Barcelona wins easily with an average temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is literally perfect. Beantown at 48 degrees just ain't gonna cut it. Advantage, Barcelona. The next three criteria are subjective based on my opinion, but I dare anyone to challenge me based on my rationale. Architecture. Oh man, this is a toughie. On one hand, Boston has some of the most iconic buildings in the country like Trinity Church, Faneuil Hall, Massachusetts State House, South Station, along with all those gorgeous Victorian and Edwardian residential buildings in the Back Bay. But Barcelona might be known the most for its modernisme architecture, a flamboyant Catalan creation that erupted in the late 19th century. Modernisme was personified by the visionary work of Antoni Gaudi, a giant in the world of architecture. His seven buildings in Barna are Parque de Guel, Palacio de Guel, 
Casa Mila, Casa Vicens, Sagrada Familia, Casa Bayo, and Crypt and Colonia Guil. Hey, I feel pretty good about pronouncing all those. Advantage, Barcelona. As for my favorite category, the food. Barcelona is most known for its fresh seafood such as paella and grilled octopus, as well as its iconic tapas bars that serve dishes like bombas, croquettes, patatas bravas, and jamón ibérico. Don't forget the cava. Boston hosts some of the oldest and longest running restaurants in the country. Its harbor location makes the city deservedly renowned for its seafood, and there are plenty of lobster rolls, oysters, and chowda to be had. Boston has a great beer scene as well and is loaded with insanely delicious Italian bakery. All right, this one is truly a toss up, but I'm gonna give the edge to Boston. Public green space. At first glance of the map, neither of these cities have a tremendous amount of public green space, but it is hard to ignore the massive Parque Natural de Cosarola, and it is one of the largest metropolitan parks in the world, 22 times larger than Central Park in New York. Boston does have the Boston Commons, which is beautiful, but relatively small, and it definitely has nothing compared to Park de la Cosarola. Wow, all right, that was a close contest. If you prefer colder weather, then Boston secures the tie. Boston is one of my favorite cities in the world, but I must say Barcelona is something special, especially the Gothic Quarter getting lost in all those narrow streets. Was this the result you were predicting? Subscribe for more city comparisons. What other American and European city comparisons would you like to see?